Brian and Kenzie in the morning. And Chicago's alternative all day. Q101. Well, time for a fact that makes your brain just go. Uh, $8,000 a year you're spending on something that you like, that you use, but you could easily cut it out and uh, maybe give yourself an $8,000 a year raise. Kenzie thinks it's not using coupons when they're available. There's so much stuff online to use for deals and just not going through everything, so you're wasting about $8,000 not doing that. Put in a little extra time. Almost everything, even online, you Google it, you find a coupon code. It's unbelievable. I'm telling you, if you like and use something, download the app. They have point systems that are way weighted in your favor. And then Case thinks, what do you think it was, Case? Delivery fees Delivery fees. You can just easily get up and go get the stuff and not. It's not either of those, but... I'd say almost some people are doing more than that in those both those things you're talking about. But what it is, is watching and using TV and everything you use with your TV and all of like the apps and all of your services and your general, whatever it's cable or YouTube TV, whatever. It adds up to a lot of people close to $8,000 in Chicago, buying extra movies, buying extra packages, NFL ticket, drop 300 for that, $8,000. I don't think I'm doing $8,000, uh, but I know... I'm getting screwed on Hulu right now and a couple other things. Just go talk to somebody about that. <laughs> for literally a year you've been saying this. I know. And I just keep paying it because I don't tell them to get on the phone with someone. Because you get on the phone, they just, they just don't want you on the phone. They keep passing you, you off. You took a nap while waiting for your pizza the other day. Yeah, because I needed it. Okay. Yes, <laughs> that was worth some money. Call them now. Uh, call them on the air? Yeah. yeah. Why, why not? You say you don't have time to do it. What better time than now? Take care of chores on the show. Then That's do it. what we're going to turn into in 2025. Oh. I called Applebee's on the air once. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Let me true think about story. that. Let me think about that. We got a lot to go on today. We got Oasis tickets at 7. I can't be on hold with someone from Hulu when we're trying to give away Oasis tickets. Plus, you have the hold music in the background. We could just be like, call now for the tickets. Like, really fast still. We can dun, talk. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Call in now. But, uh, but think about that. $8,000. And I've thought about that. And like I said, I think I got to really add up all the apps. Um, I already know I spent on the NFL ticket. Um, YouTube TV went up. So that's probably about a thousand a year, roughly. It's like seventy dollars or seventy-five right now. I don't even know what it is. I got to add this stuff up and figure out where I'm at. You should add it up right now. Open up that that you know big checking account of yours and see what you got. Mm-hmm. Let's let's take a look. Let's because, open you, up. because you have YouTube TV, you have NFL Sunday Ticket, you pay for Netflix, you pay for Hulu. Even if you think you're being overpaid, I'm assuming you pay for Max. I'm pay assuming Max. you pay for Amazon. Yeah, well, I Max- know you don't pay for Peacock because you're a leech. That's the only, well, yeah. Well, oh, like you don't steal a password? I pay for my peacock. I don't believe you. And it's got the King of Queens archives That's on what there, she baby. Said. <laughs> uh, I pay for my peacock. A oh, phrase I didn't no. think was going to be said today on the show. First off, I'm going to kick Eminem's ass and Snoop's ass today in case pays for his peacock. So oh, far, we're off to a roaring start. Here's the deal, Case. You don't pay for all of them, and I know that because I asked for your HBO <laughs> password, and you said that it's your parents. That is true. That's the only thing they pay for, though. Yeah. Mm. Oh, sure. What are the odds? Well, yeah. okay, so let me go through mine, because I pay for YouTube TV. I pay for NFL Sunday Ticket. I pay for NBA League Pass, $100 a season worth every penny. <laughs> I pay for Netflix. I pay for Hulu. I pay for CMLL Fan Leyenda. What's which that? Is, that's how to get the best Mexican wrestling live and in your living room every Friday night from Arena Mexico. That's $35 a month. Is that Lucha Libre? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'd, I'd pay for that. Yeah, yeah $35 a month. You Wait, pay for it right through YouTube. Send me the link to that. I got to buy it. <laughs> I think I need that. <laughs> Just ask for Kate's password. <laughs> <laughs> the Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. So coming up in 19 minutes, this is it. Your last chance to win floor seats for free to mm-hmm. Oasis Soldier Field coming up August 28th. And we'll also draw the winner then. So we've been doing this every day today at 7 o'clock. And then we'll draw the winner of those tickets because today is the day when they go on sale to the general public at 10 a.m. for Oasis at Soldier Field. And first time in 15 years in Chicago, an epic, elite, historic event in this show coming up. Now, yesterday, Mm -hmm. there was actually a lottery to get into a pre-sale that went on yesterday. (sighs) Me and Case applied for this earlier in the week, and Kenzie did as well. Yep. (laughs) And me and Case got into the lottery for the tickets. Kenzie did not. I did not. Yeah. She got, a, she got a voice message. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get in, and something even also messed up is our boss didn't get in. So me and my boss did not get in. How about that? And Brian Goodbye. and Case did. Unbelievable. <laughs> and so I didn't, when I first got in, I didn't think it was a huge deal. I didn't know if Case did either. But then we found out that Kenzie and James didn't go, oh, so they really are 
really being... It is random. It is random, and it also isn't everybody. I thought kind of everybody that applied would have got in, at least on the pre-sale, and then maybe you didn't get the tickets, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So then, it starts at 2 o'clock yesterday, and I just want to relive this experience a little bit because... Oh, good. No, th- I can't wait to talk about it. <laughs> thankful, thankfully, we work in radio, and, you know, yeah, everybody has perks of their job, and a lot of times I think people think we get everything free and backstage and front row. It doesn't happen that way always, and especially with Oasis coming up, so I wanted to buy tickets to make sure I got in, and I can always sell them later. Like, uh, well, Case didn't do for Noah Khan. He just sold them for cost and got it back. He could have probably got some extra money out of that if you put them on the open could've market. flipped it, baby. I got my money back. That's all I wanted. That's all he wanted. And I know, I know Case, what he wants with, with his money, which we'll explain in a second here. So the limit ticket was four tickets. I got in the waiting room before Case. When I got in, there was 5,600 people ahead of me. And I go, oh, boy. I may not get tickets where I want them. It moved really fast. I got four floor seats at Soldier Field. You floor? I got floor, Kenzie. I'm honestly way more annoyed now. Good. I, I, I'm, I'm actually proud of myself. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Um, and floor? You know, yeah, floor, floor? And you know what? They weren't that bad. I mean, I, I hate to say it like this because it's like really expensive, and I don't spend this kind of money usually except for like the last couple months where I'm going broke right now. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> but they were 250 each, and they said they were going to keep it in the non-dynamic pricing, so it would be reasonable. for a floor seat for that big of a show? You know, I, I mean, pe- I, I can get right up front for 250. I can walk right up general admission floor for a soldier right field. Out, you'd be on the stage. I'm going to be right there. <laughs> I'm blocking all the people behind me. So I bought four. As I said, I would yesterday, and it, there's a chance I give away that other pair to listeners August 27th of next You're year. Such a liar. Um, <laughs> and then Case is in line. He had 10,000 people in front of him at the line because he got in the waiting room later than me. That's true. Yep. But I made it through. The line, I thought, moved very quickly. Brian texted me saying he got his. At that point, I had about 2,000 people in front of me. Line went down, line went down, line went down. I got into the ticket queue, and sure enough, I also, per Brian's request, because I only needed two tickets, but I also purchased four tickets, GA4 for Oasis. Floor? Floor. He got floor, too. He got general mission floor, too, because he's going to punch somebody. <laughs> she had an aneurysm just now. <laughs> I just... It's so effing rude. <laughs> they obviously had plenty of tickets, and I don't understand how I wasn't through. They don't, because... Well, uh, obviously uh, not anymore. <laughs> bought we, we bought them all. <laughs> well, I, I know a girl that got in the waiting room with 13,000 people in front of her just a little bit after Case. She didn't get any tickets. Yeah, because everyone's buying... You, I'm looking at two people. <laughs> She's getting so I'm flustered. So I'm, like, I'm looking at two people, and uh, you guys have eight tickets between the two of you. That's right. That's why. Okay, but they're going to get used. And I told Case, you've got to buy four if you get through, because I, I will buy, I will instantly sell you the money for the other two, and just let me know. And he said, I got him. I go, okay, cool. I will sell you. Stand by. I had a busy day yesterday. Mm-hmm. I got around to selling him. I went to I went to Kaleo last night at Chicago Theater. It was a very hectic day. Oh, big shot. It was oh, good. wow. Good. It's nice to buy tickets to Oasis and then go to a different concert. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a tough day. Now, those Here's I got a for... a soldier. No, those I got for free because I work at Q101. Oh, big shot over How here. How about that? Do you know who I am, Brian Haddad? That's right. And Larkin Poe, the opening band, by the way, great band. Anyway, so I, te- I Zell Case the Money. Now, this is the problem with this morning, Kenzie, and you see me and Case in the hallway has been a little cold. To each other, I zelled him the money. I went, thought we were all just sleepy. Mm, <laughs> nope. No. Zelled him, zelled him the money and went to my concert. Had dinner, lovely uh, uh, mom and dad night out with with Megan. And then he texts me at about eleven thirty and goes, "Money didn't show up. No worries. We'll take care of it tomorrow." So it's tomorrow. Wait, the money didn't show up. The money. Apparently, he's telling me I, I didn't sell him yet. Okay, that's what I didn't do. Oh, you just never did it. I never did it. You're kind of a, you probably just should have done it before you even bought the tickets because you were asking him to buy them. Well, I didn't know that he'd get four, and he got four, which is very nice. And I didn't sell him the money, so he's been very cold today that I didn't give him the money yet. Listen, right after he calls Hulu, he's going to pay you. (laughs) Here's the thing, Brian. Yeah. I like you. Oh, boy. I like you a lot. You've been very good to me, very good to my family, (laughs) known each other a lot of years now. I like working with you. You're a good guy. Uh I don't like when people owe me money. Mm. I don't like when people owe me $10. Twenty dollars, hundred dollars. To be clear, you owe me five hundred dollars. I don't like that I go on Instagram last night 
and I see you eating the entire restaurant. You just about had the chef, too, with the dinner. Oh, I saw oh, how much food you had on the table. Fat. I he did. just called you fat. I'm looking at a lard ass right now. So wow. A lard ass that owes me $500. So we went to State and Lake before the show. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. That's not a cheap restaurant. It was $148 for the for food. You? No, no. Me and, <laughs> me and Megan got nice shareable plates, but I did eat most of the wings, the fries, What's the shrimp. What's it called? Uh, State and Lake. It's right at State and Lake. Is that the size of you? Oh. Mm, State and Lake, exactly. State and Lake. Pretty big. It was delicious, but we had to eat before the meal. I didn't think it was going to be that much. And I'm really strapped right now with buying all those White Sox tickets oh, for yeah. everybody last yeah, yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. So I went to go right. sell them. I went to go sell them. And even though we had payday, I had to pay rent. And then I'm short right now. Yeah, well, Brian, rent comes every month, okay? I told him that yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm short right now, so I can't sell him the 500 until I get an influx of cash somewhere else into my checking account. So, so you I, just had him buy tickets that you can't pay for? He's going to get it. He knows I'm here. Hey. You, every day I'm here. You, you're going to get your money. Hey, Brian, man. that's really messed up. You're going to get your money. I that's... feel like Stewie right now and Brian owed money and family guy. I do not like this at all, Brian. I need my money. That's messed up, Brian. You're wrong. He, he knows where I am. He's going to get his How money. How many more babysitters oh, know where you do you are. have, like, this week for events, you liar? Stewie. Uh, hey. Hey there. So, uh, it's been 24 hours. Got my money? <laughs> oh, I, you know what? Just give me till next Friday. I'll have it for you. Oh. Oh, that's funny. I could have sworn I said have it today. Yeah, I don't have it. Sorry. Oh. Well, all right then. Mm, that's good, OJ. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that hurt? Oh, that hurt? What the hell? Yeah, it feels so good, does it? No, huh? Oh, yeah, that's what happens, man. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's what happens. You got till 5 o'clock, you hear me? You got till 5 o'clock. You freaking psychopath. Yeah, clean yourself up. <laughs> You have until 5 o'clock, Brian. Oh, crap. <laughs> the Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. So we are about seven minutes away from 7 o'clock. It'll be your last chance at Oasis tickets. Not your last overall. The show's a year away. We're going to have a lot more tickets is and mm -hmm. tickets is tickets and sure. probably some VIP stuff and all kinds of stuff for the Soldier Field show with Oasis. But the tickets go on sale today at 10. So it's the last chance before the general pre-sale. They actually, they go on sale at noon. I want to make that clear. I told you 10. I was wrong. Thank you to 708 on the text line that just reminded us, Val from the South Side, it is noon today the tickets go on sale well if you wouldn't be so worried about getting your money you might have the time right you owe me five hundred dollars <laughs> brian okay, wait wait here's the deal so before you say kenzie so we bought tickets in the pre-sale yesterday case bought two for me of his four i bought four we both got through Think and so about I this you have six oasis tickets right now no i want to throw up <laughs> <laughs> I can't get, I, it's like the grinch for Oasis tickets. Like, you're just stealing everybody. So Kenzie didn't get in the pre-sale, let alone... <laughs> and Brian's getting six. And, by the way, I'm really tired of this group chat that I'm not in okay, over tickets. Okay, you didn't hear in the commercial break of why she wasn't included in the group chat during the Oasis pre-sale yesterday. Well, you weren't in the lottery, so, so we didn't really yeah, want to involve you. Yeah, but you guys are both already in it. I'm the one who wants tickets. <laughs> I know. So, you know, we thought about you, Kenzie, in that group text, but we said... Goodbye. <laughs> there was a group chat about how many more tickets you guys can get. <laughs> I would have, I wanted a pair. So there was four limit. I have six that I need taken care of, and people are going to pay me for those, hopefully. Unlike me paying case for the two I, he bought for me that are $500. What you happened? Know what's funny? I bet you a million dollars Brian's already gotten paid by the other people who are purchasing the ticket. <laughs> uh -huh, exactly. He's up money. I will, please, you will have the money by the end of the day. I'm a little, I got an influx cash to my checking account somehow from Megan's account. Hey, dude. Hey, just tell me you're a broke bitch next time, okay? I just won't buy you anything. I don't like being owed money, and you owe me Five hundred dollars. Okay, so one, you could have sold them to me. So you picked Brian. I bet you wish I was in the group chat now, bitch. Oh boy. Second, a lot of people are texting in. <laughs> this is a first-time texter, and they say, "I'll sell you seven hundred dollars <laughs> right now." What? First-time texter. We don't need no bidding on these tickets. We're going face For, value. No, that was F the agreement. You, Brian, no. You're under. You're you're negative five hundred for face value. Screw you. He's gonna get his money. I had a problem on the app on my phone. Well, what? what, what was the problem? problem the whole day? <laughs> I was eating and I didn't want to get something on my phone that might have hurt the app.
<laughs> you're going to get your 500 bucks by the end of the day. I promise you. I'm going to start charging you interest. I, no, you're not. I, then fine. I'll start taking bidders. H- how much do people want these Oasis tickets? Block, hey, block that person that said 700 bucks. from. No. I, know, I know they're a first-time I texter. S- we love first-time mm-hmm. texters. We love new people. Block them, Kenzie. No, absolutely not. Why would I do you a favor? Because maybe... You should put me in the group chat. <laughs> Maybe what, you should have put me in the group chat. What if I promise to put you in the group tech no, chat from now on? No, it's too late. On? I don't want. I don't Damn want a pity ad. Listen, you're gonna get your money. I promise, Case. You're gonna get your money. Just, Give me my money, Brian. J- just relax. I'm trying to reach you. You're tougher to get than the president. Well, I've been busy. <laughs> yeah, at least you could do is return my phone call. <laughs> Listen, Nikki, we talked about this. And uh, I explained to you that there was the possibility you might have to take some kind of loss. Well, I'm this guy. Yeah. I think I want my money back. What are you doing, too strong, (laughs) Army? You know, I think that you got the wrong impression about me. I think in all fairness, I should explain to you exactly what it is that I do. For instance, tomorrow morning, I'll get up nice and early, take a walk down over to the bank and walk in and see you. And uh, if you don't have my money for me, I'll crack your head wide open in front of everybody in the bank. And just about the time that I'm coming out of jail, hopefully... You'll be coming out of your coma. And guess what? I'll split your f***ing head open again. Because I'm f***ing stupid. <laughs> that was case to me in the hallway two minutes ago. <laughs> Brian and Kenzie in the morning. And Chicago's alternative all day. Q. Brian and Kenzie on Q101 with a little bit of uh, local news, some breaking news that's making the Chicagoland area. Coming to West Dundee is the largest capacity truck stop, the largest one in the country, possibly the world. It's going to be on I-90 or near I-90 in West Dundee. And the first phase of it building has just started, so I hope it's creating a lot of jobs out there of building this truck stop. It's a 30-acre site. Uh, just off uh, I-90, so it's west of the Fox River in West Dundee. It opens at the end of this month of October, and it will have 1,000 semi-truck parking spaces. 1,000. Wow. Because you know when you pull into a truck stop and you see about 40 trucks there, and you go, damn. That's a lot of trucks. 40's a lot. How are they going to fit 1,000 <laughs> trucks? That's insane. <laughs> and this is up your way, Kenzie, because the new truck stop oh, site. Yeah, I know. Well, <laughs> it's located on the former Elgin Landfill, which closed in the 70s. Now, Beautiful I can... area. <laughs> yeah. well, I I, got... When I drove past that, oh, my God, they got to put something good there. Yeah. Beautiful. There can't be... If that closed in the 70s, there can't be good stuff in that landfill. Yeah, there's got to be. I, don't, I wouldn't want to clean it. I wouldn't want to be in charge of that. Asbestos. I mean, what's the over under on bodies in that landfill? <laughs> it's from the 70s. And I, I would take the over on five and a half. Well, good news is some good people are building it. They've cleared the landfill and they're making it a very productive thing that if it holds a thousand semi truck parking spaces, um, it's it's which is actually, by the way, 10 percent more spaces to the statewide level. That's 10 percent more parking spaces for trucks in the state. It's amazing. It is. It's really cool. Hopefully that's causing you know a lot of people to have jobs building that damn thing. Um, I imagine that, that's a lot. It's a lot of cement to lay down, baby. I guess they're doing it because the corridor between O'Hare Airport and Rockford is booming on 90. It's a lot. You drive that. I'll tell you what. You drive I that all the time. That every single day. Yeah. It's all semi trucks. Like I, I always, I already feel like, is there a port? Like, what is going on? <laughs> there needs to be this. Like, it just seems weird. <laughs> I'm like, where y'all going? Because like, I feel like the most things would get delivered. It feels like to the cities. You know, and I'm like, what are you guys doing out here? There's something. There's not a lot over here. It well, just blows my mind. They're going back and forth, so they're going taking. Oh, st- it's all semis. They're it really coming. They're coming out of O'Hare and then delivering. And like sadly, I would say almost every day I see one on fire. Almost every day. What? And I'm like, what's happening? You know, well, that ain't good. why are these things lighting on fire so fast? Well, maybe they'll have one thousand. Uh, hydrants there to put out trucks at this. I hope there's a couple hydrants based on what I've seen on a daily. I don't know if they need one for every truck. Just think they're big. Yeah, they, they are. are. They are. I'm curious because I have one that comes to mind because I want to check this place out now when it gets built. Do you guys have a favorite specific truck stop? Uh, not only a a spot but a location. What? I have a truck stop. My well, favorite truck stop because I have one. I, I actually have one too. How yeah. do you get to it, Case? You don't, you don't have a car. But I know people that have cars. You can take? No, I know. I I've been in a car. Okay. Mm. What <laughs> So I do because again I love road tripping and again I prefer that to flying and I just love seeing the country and I remember back in the day when my boys me and my boys went to Daytona Beach for spring break. <laughs> 
<laughs> the wrecking crew, if you will. Yeah, you know. Did you guys have a nickname, you and your boys? It was the Big Ballers. <laughs> <laughs> the Big Baller Squad. Right. Uh, we took our my parents' uh, station wagon. Well, because you're ballers. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And you're big. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. the six of us drove straight through to Daytona Beach, which is about a 26-hour drive from here. So we drove straight through. And at one point, we got to Georgia. And there was a truck stop, but it was a truck stop. It was a diner. It was a, what's the thing when you can get um, animals stuffed? What do you call that? Oh, taxidermy? taxidermy? Taxidermy. There was a taxidermy place there where you could take. Next to the diner? <laughs> exactly right. Okay. <laughs> and on top of those four, three items, there was a strip club. Oh, that's awesome. So it had all those things in one big ass truck stop. It was a strip club, taxidermy, <laughs> diner, gas station. Correct. <laughs> what was the name of the strip club? I so want to remember the name of this, and I'm going to look it up when we play a song here. What but... was the name of the taxidermy? Well, it all had one name. Yeah. So you it was just... a family business. It was a choose like... your adventure type thing. Okay, I see. <laughs> I see. And we got there at three in the morning, and I'm telling you, we didn't leave till 8 a.m. No, why not? No, we ate. We looked at the taxidermy stuff. Of course. Um, of course, I filled up the car. Yeah, why not? And then the strip club. I mean, since you're there. <laughs> <laughs> Genius. So I'm just some recommendations for the people out there in West Dundee. Awesome that you got a 1,000 truck parking spots. I've never heard of something like that. Might want to think about expanding some of this space to some other businesses. <laughs> I'm going to find the name of that if it still exists, because that was a long time ago. Do you know the pilot in Remington, Indiana? So I have been by, when I drive to Nashville to see my mom, I go by in Indianapolis. So yeah. I, I've seen a lot of pilots down there. I could have been in it. I can't remember. Remington like is the like... the person? Like a pilot? No, no, no. The... Why do you not know anything about truck stops? I thought this was a part of American culture. No, I don't go to any truck stops. I don't have a truck. But when you... <laughs> I don't... Why would I be there? But you, have you driven your car on a road trip ever? Yeah, but like I just go to a gas station. But you don't see like a Loves or a Pilot? You don't see those? I don't know. Flying J. <laughs> oh, what's the uh, adult stores in Indiana? Oh, oh, the um, Lion's Den. Lion's Den. Yeah. <laughs> There's like 70 of them all the way through Indiana. That are part of the truck stops? No, these are solo stores. <laughs> okay. They're separate business ventures. I don't every, understand. Because every time I drive that way, I'll say to Megan, so is this the trip we stop in Lions then? And she goes, no. Okay. Okay, we'll save it for a future trip. I know. I just, I don't, I don't go to truck stops because I don't, I don't have a truck. But you, <laughs> you actually have a Jeep. Yeah. I have almost a truck. But I go to a gas station. <laughs> Once you get in, the joy of a truck stop, let me tell you. What's the difference? So... Like I, I just said, thought it was big for trucks. No, because so I'll just go to the small one for like, my car. All the shopping. <laughs> it seems silly. Let's say you go into the convenience part of a truck stop, which might be like some of them have like a Wendy's that's open into yeah, like a 7-Eleven. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and Kenzie, so you go in there. You might see a very well-to-do family with two kids all dressed to the nines. And then you see a guy... It walked out of a Bigfoot, Bigfoot costume in there, too. <laughs> and it, it's the array of America going in a truck stop, what mm. you see. And conversations are wonderful. So here we go. We have people checking in with their favorite truck stops. Uh, Ernie checked in, our great crew member. My favorite truck stop is called Our Place in Morris, Illinois. The booth tables by the windows have a glass top. And inside are toys and things from the 1920s and 30s inside the glass top. That's awesome. That's incredible. Oh, my God. Kenzie, you'd like that. Um, I guess. You I would. just again it seems like a, a lot of a lot of hustle and bustle. That parking you, lot's gonna be huge. It's okay. You can take a little extra is time. Is there a place to I don't get it. This is a gas station. So is there a place to how do you try to walk through the store? You have to move your car away to the pump. You get your gas uh -huh. and then you move to a parking space. Checkmate. The Brian and Kenzie show. On Q one oh one. The Brian and Kenzie Show on Q 101. Well, listen, we've certainly hit a chord here with you talking about in West Dundee, the first phase of what developers say will be the largest capacity truck stop in the United States. And it, I guess it's open, but it won't be fully completed till the end of the month. A thousand trucks, a thousand semi trucks, parking spaces will be there. I, I am floored. <laughs> This should have been the fact today. <laughs> to be honest, a thousand trucks. Joe checked in because Kenzie's confused on me and Case's love of the truck stop, and she thinks they're well, I don't have a truck. Yeah, you have a Jeep. You don't have to have a truck, Kenzie. Here's here's what Joe said to explain it better. I feel you guys are missing the concept that you should probably explain what truck stops are normally for for Kenzie. It's four guys who have been on the road for twelve hours, and they go there to get their shopping done and <laughs> food and a place to relax and. 
chop it up. And this is Joe on his way to Orland Park. I don't know if he's going to stop at a truck stop on the way there. Oh. That explains a lot of Christmas gifts. Things are adding up. Listen, that's a good way to get some stuff cheap. All right. You should do that. Some good DVDs of movies you've never heard of before. Perfect. Yeah. Some no. hats that have bedazzled camo on no, them. No, my Woo! stocking stuffers. It's not trying to translate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Case on the text line, what do you got? Yeah, real quick, just so everybody knows, this conversation is now on Q101's Facebook page. Give us your favorite truck stop and where it's at. We would love to do some <laughs> research on it. But Andre checked in from Chicago, first-time texter. I don't know if I like the idea of him listening to Q101 for 30 years and just now texting in. I do. Or if he just turned on the radio for the first time and heard this conversation. I don't know which version I like more. But Andre checked in and said that his favorite truck stop is a Loves in Horse Cave, Kentucky that sells swords and full suits of armor. Now, Kenzie, you love that stuff. <laughs> You love swords and armor. So what you're saying is there's a renaissance fair at yes. this truck stop. And you, then you can fill up. You, okay. You love that stuff. I love the renaissance fair. Let's go right now. Let's I'll the, leave. How, <laughs> what, what is it? Cave Creek, Kentucky? It is, it's Horse Cave, Kentucky. Oh, Horse, Horse? <laughs> horse Cave, Cave Kentucky. <laughs> Kentucky. How far away is that from NBC Tower? Let's see here. Horse Cave, Kentucky. Whoa, it's in the middle of nowhere. Uh, let's see here. I've got uh, it. I've got it. From where we're at right now, it yeah. is uh, not. I don't want public transportation. I want car. <laughs> it, it is a five hour and forty four minute drive. Oh, we could be back by tonight. Uh, we could hear Lauren in the car. Come home. It's Brian Phillips' history of alternative. Oh my God. Sword we're fight. set. <laughs> Sword fight. And you'd be home for dinner. Maybe. I, I have early dinners. <laughs> I'm so hungry. <laughs> we would eat there. I bet they have delicious food. Yeah. So uh, I post up there on Facebook for that. It's Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Brian and Kenzie in the morning. And Chicago's alternative all day. Q101.